my number one tip is simply identifying your client who you want to work with and stay in that lane. A lot of times what happens is clients come to our office and we know we don't like the client. We know we don't like the guy, but yet we'll still bring him on as a client. And what happens is your phone begins to ring every single week with the same guy that you knew you didn't like. So identify your target market and stay in your lane. I brought this guy into my office. Me and another advisor was interviewing this guy. In my mind, I said, I do not like this guy, particularly how he was treating his wife, right? And so I said, I don't like this guy. But yet I decided, okay, let's take this guy on as a client. The first day we onboarded, onboarded the guy, the next day my phone rings at six o'clock in the morning. From a guy I knew I didn't like. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a nightmare. The guy called me every day. Saturday morning, the guy calls me. I'm eating breakfast with my wife. I said, I got to fire this guy fast or something's gonna happen. Well, in this business, we're taught that our job is to help people. And you can only help people who, number one, they won't help, you can only help people who you like, right? Um, it's more pleasant, it's, it's, it's just funner. You don't have the headaches. You wanna help people who you wanna help. And um, if you don't like the people, there's no need to get into that relationship. You wouldn't date a girl you wouldn't like, right? There's no reason dating a girl you wouldn't like. You definitely wouldn't marry a girl you didn't like. So why we practice our businesses, why we take on clients we don't like. And clients sometimes don't like us and we still take them on. It don't make any sense. Life is too short.